If there is one thing that the Arknights community can agree on, is that Tsukinogi is the worst operator in Arknights. Some people describe her as useless, incompatible, and underwhelming, and it kind of reminds me of this image of a guy splashing himself with water in the pool. Unlike my previous operator showcase when, where I tried to convince you to get a certain operator, in this video we'll take a closer look at Tsukinogi as to why the hell is she so terrible in the battlefield. Tsukinogi is a supporter in the Abjurer archetype. She is the only one in her archetype as of this recording, whereas on the CN side of the game, there are two other operators in the same archetype. Her normal attacks deals arch damage. However, according to the Aceship website, this might change in the future where the normal attacks heals allies for a certain percentage. I'm not sure how true that is, but we'll see in the near future. In terms of stats, Tsukinogi has a very low attack, one of the lowest in the supporter class, in exchange for higher HP. Tsukinogi's talent, Blessing, applies the shelter effect to operators below 40% HP. The damage taken by sheltered operators are reduced by 12% to 18% at Elite 2. You can increase the shelter effect further to 20% if Tsukinogi is at pot 6. But come on, who the hell is spending orundums on getting pot 6 Tsukinogi? That's just stupid. From my testing, shelter is not very effective with squishy operators, especially when facing hard-hitting enemies. That is because the surplus damage that pushes an operator HP below 40% is not reduced. In addition to that, 40% is a small amount to some operators, such that the 18% reduction from the shelter effect is not enough to prevent their retreat. It's better if you use a healer at this point, and make sure your operator's HP is always top top, or swap for a more tougher operator like a defender or a really tough guard. Therefore, this talent is more favorable towards defenders and operators with high amount of HP as they can take more punishment and allow the talent to take effect. Skill 1 is called Without a Trace, which removes enemies' invisibility and gives nearby allies a certain percentage of evasion. First, let's take a look at the invisibility removal. This skill is really useful for ranged operators to kill the enemies early on, as well as for those of you who love range-only runs. Theoretically, since the enemies are revealed further ahead, they can be eliminated before reaching the ground operator, and therefore reducing the overall damage done on the blocking operator. When I was testing to see if there's a difference between using the skill and without the skill, I found out that the result is not significantly different. If you have a really good sniper or any ranged operator backing up your ground operator, in this case, Leonhard is backing up Cutter, Leonhard easily wipes out all those invisible enemies once they are blocked by Cutter. And with Tsukinogi's skill 1 activated, it just helps Leonhard kill the enemies much earlier before they came in contact with Cutter. It might be useful to some of you, but in my opinion, it's not necessary and Tsukinogi's deployment slot can be replaced with someone else. Unfortunately, this skill comes with very problematic drawbacks. The first and most obvious one is that it costs you 50 SP to charge it up, and that equals to 50 seconds. Invisible enemies usually comes in waves, and there may be times where her skill is not ready when you really need it, and so timing is important. Second, Elysium skill 2 is significantly better because aside from invisibility removal, Elysium also slows down up to 4 enemies and applies debuffs on them. The dodge element for this skill is okay at least, and most likely to be used more often than the invisibility one because not all levels have invisible enemies. But the problem with dodge is that it's unreliable because it's entirely RNG and changes every run. Kukikaze has a video explaining how dodge works, so I highly recommend you to check it out if you want to learn more about the dodge mechanic. The most important thing to know is that dodge stacks multiplicatively, not additionally. At Mastery 3, without a trace lasts 4 seconds longer, with initial SP increased by 4, and an additional 4% dodge. After looking at the materials needed to get this to Mastery 3, it's not worth the investment 
for the amount of gain you got. Before I move on to the next skill, I invite you to hit that like button so that it tells me how much do you enjoy watching this video. Alright, skill 1 is not as good as we thought, so maybe Tsukinogi's skill 2 might make up for that disappointment. Skill 2, Forest Embrace, basically enhances Tsukinogi's talent, meaning you don't have to clench your butt fearing that your operator will be sent to the Shadow Realm for extra screen time. In addition to that, the Shelter effect is twice as powerful, and Tsukinogi heals operators around her, including those that can be healed by normal medics, such as Enmity Guards and Juggernaut Defenders. That all sounds pretty good, right? Yes, but no. Yes, the healing element is a great addition, and I do like the increase in the minimum HP threshold, but there still remains one problem. This skill costs the same amount of SP to activate, but only lasts about half as long as skill 1. What? This terribly short uptime makes the healing element of this skill very inconsistent, and you might as well replace her with Nightingale or any other medic for that matter. The way I see this skill can be used is as a safety net for your defender or guards so that their HP doesn't drop too fast as they stall a boss or any other enemies, and allow your medics to heal them right before they die. This method could relieve some pressure of the medics, but if the medic and the defender have really good stats and can keep up with the incoming damage, then Forest Embrace seems unnecessary. Or maybe I'm just too small brain to think of a reasonable scenario where skill 2 is really useful. Help me out, please. Tsukinogi's kit can be summarized in one word. Redundant! Her talent requires you to walk at the edge of death in order to use it. This shelter effect feels unnecessary, and her skills can easily be replaced by other operators that can do a better fucking job in making sure that the others are not dead. The stealth remover used in skill 1 is easily replaced by Elysium with his skill 2. <sighs> it's a shame that Tsukinogi has suffered this unfortunate fate. I love her character design. I like the idea behind her mechanics as there are not many operators that provide defensive buffs, but the execution is just terrible. So until Hypergrift makes some changes to Tsukinogi's archetype to make it more playable, she'll be sitting in my HR judging all your documents and maybe make some nasty remarks about you. But hey, at least she's a really good looking maid, 